Hey everyone, it's Carla again with another Steam Saturday. Today we are doing something really fun with some old Christmas lights, tin foil, and batteries. We are going to be making circuits. So we are going to be making two different kinds of circuits. We will be making a parallel circuit and a series circuit. So I'm just going to go over a couple things before we actually get started. And firstly, I will tell you what you need to make these. So of course, Christmas lights, tin foil, batteries. I am using a nine volt battery and I have two AA batteries as well. You can also do this with some AAA batteries. You are going to need some wire cutters and wire strippers to cut apart your Christmas lights and some scissors and tape. And that's it. So like I said, we are making two different kinds of circuits today. We are going to be making a parallel circuit that looks like this. And in a parallel circuit, the current is divided into separate paths. The electrical current flows along multiple paths before returning to the power source. If one of the devices in a parallel circuit stops working, the other devices will be able to continue to work. So that means that if you were to take out one of these light bulbs, your circuit would still work. It would not disrupt the circuit because it's all flowing down and then your power source will be at the bottom. And in a series circuit, as you can see, it looks a little different. In this one, your power source goes down here. And a little bit about a series circuit is all of the current flows through each part of the circuit. So it consists of one single pathway. And all of the parts of the series, the power source, the wires, and the devices are all connected on the same pathway, which means that if you take out one device or one of the devices stops working, your whole circuit will stop working. So if you were to take out one of these bulbs, all of the, the whole circuit would just stop working. Um, as opposed to the parallel circuit, if you took out one of these bulbs, your circuit would still run. So I will quickly show you how these work. So the parallel circuit, we have our AA batteries down here, and you're just going to press the tin foil onto the negative and positive side. And you can also add two batteries to get a stronger, brighter light. If you can see that. And in the series circuit, we have our nine volt battery and you're just going to press that onto the tin foil at the bottom and you can see all of them light up. These are a little bit dimmer than your parallel circuit, but if you were to take out one of the lights, they would shine brighter. If you were to add more lights, they would be dimmer. So there is a few little fun things you can do to play around with these as well. So let's get into it and I will show you how to make your very own series circuit. All right, so to start off with, we are going to be doing the parallel circuit first. And for this, you are going to need just a piece of paper and two pieces of tin foil cut into strips like this. And you wanna make sure that these fit on your paper because we are going to tape those down. So just using a little bit of tape, just tape the top. And you wanna make sure you tape them so that you have enough room for your wire to touch both of them. If they're too far apart, it won't work. And you can secure this with just a couple more pieces of tape and you wanna leave the ends free so that you can use these and touch the batteries at the bottom. So just a couple pieces of tape. And then this part, you are going to need help from an adult or at least supervision from an adult because we are going to be cutting apart our Christmas lights. And you can use your wire cutters for this and you just want to snip off one of the bulbs. So you wanna use a a set of lights that you don't want anymore, or you could buy a set just for this activity, um, but they do still have to work. So if they're all burnt out, this isn't magically going to fix them. And then you want to be able to have enough wire at the bottom of your bulb to attach here. So this one might be a little short, but I do have a couple other examples here that I've already cut off. And then in order to get your wires showing, you're going to need your wire strippers again. 
and you're going to just use them and strip both of those wires really quickly. Again, this is something a parent can help with and an adult. So then you have your bare wires showing and you can just toss the little plastic bits. Once you do that to a bunch of these, you can decide how many you want on your circuit. You can make a pattern, you can use one of each color, um, whatever you decide. So I'm gonna do a yellow, a blue, a red and a green, one of each. Red and a green. And I'm just going to kinda push all the wires together so that they're not super frayed out like this. And then just very simply, I'm going to take a couple pieces of tape, hold the light up, and tape the wire onto the tin foil, just like that. I'm gonna repeat that for all four lights. So, now we have all of our lights taped on to our tin foil. We are going to try this out with our AA batteries. And you can also use AAA for this if you would like. I just have AA at home, so that's what I'm using. So you can try this with one battery and connect the positive and negative end. And you can see they do light up. But if you use two batteries, try it and see how much brighter they shine. So this is something you can play around with. Use your two batteries, use one battery, try a AAA battery. Okay, and now we're gonna do the series circuit. So again, you're going to wanna make sure you have all your lights ready. So I have, again, I'm gonna do, let's see, one of each color. And then for this, you're going to take one of those uh, strips of tin foil and cut them into little chunks like this to connect your wires. So you're gonna lay this out in kind of a circle. Um, you could make other shapes if you want, but I'm gonna start with just a circle to, um, as a basic shape to teach you guys. So I want four of these, so I'm gonna make them kind of into kind of a square. But then I'm gonna place my tin foil pieces in between them and make it a little more circular. Before you tape anything down, make sure for this one that you have all of your wires connected with tin foil here. And so, like I said, it's a little bit of fiddling. And then make sure you have enough room at the bottom for your nine volt battery to be able to touch both sides, both posts here, need to be on the tin foil. So make sure you have enough room for that before you start taping. So just like the other one, I'm gonna tape down my tin foil pieces and I'm gonna tape the wires of my battery onto the tin foil. And for this, you also wanna make sure that your tin foil is not touching and we will go over why that's important at the end when we can see it light up. So now that we have everything taped, we are good to put on our 9-volt battery and see them light up, just like that. So just by pressing those two prongs on the tin foil works just like that. So this is something cool about a series circuit is you can disrupt the flow of um, electricity and make it bypass one of these lights. So electricity always takes the path of least resistance. And going through the wire up to light up the bulb, back down through the wire is a lot of resistance. So if it has the choice, like if you take just a plain piece of tin foil 
and connect two of these, you can see the green light went out there because the electricity is now flowing through the tin foil instead of through the wire up to the bulb and down because it is the path of least resistance. So I'm gonna try that again over here with the blue and you can see it turns the blue one out as well. So that's really cool, um, something you can try. So this is a fun one again, something to play around with, something to do during the holidays um, when you find an extra set of Christmas lights that you don't need um, or that somebody's getting rid of, you might wanna give it a second life and do something fun like this. All right, so I'm gonna bring these both back here. We have our series circuit and our parallel circuit. I'm just gonna light them both up for you guys to see here one last time. All right, so we're gonna go this. And I have them both lit up there for you guys. And again, with the parallel circuit, you could put as many bulbs in here as you want or as little bulbs as you want. Um, again, try it with a triple A instead of a double A, see what's different. Um, you might want to try one AAA and then two or three AAAs. You might want to um, tape your batteries together. Also, make sure you are putting your positive end on your negative end, or it won't work. If you have negative and negative, or positive and positive, it won't light up. So a couple little troubleshooting things there. This is super fun, super simple. Um, if you do this Steam Saturday project, please take a picture or a video, share it with us on social media. We're at MH Public Library on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, everything. And if you wanna find more fun videos of crafts like this, activities like this, and even story times and cooking videos and how to build a cat castle, lots of super fun stuff, check out our YouTube page at MH Public Library. Thanks for joining me today. Bye guys.